everyone and welcome to the show. So my guest today is a fast rising musician who has been crowned the dance hall godmother. She's young, she's beautiful, she is fiercely talented and her singles are totally rocking the airways right now. Please welcome Cynthia Morgan. Hi Cynthia, how are you? How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Welcome to EL Now. Yeah. I'm loving your look. You're giving us red hair, mm -hmm. the orange jacket, the orange <laughs> shoes. You guys can't see her shoes, but she has yeah. some orange shoes. You're giving us feisty fire. I'm loving it. Thank you. <laughs> Yo, <coughs> they call me Stone Girl. That is from my Emmy Road with the Bad Boys. That is Crystal. Okay, so we want to find out a little bit more about you. Tell us about where you were born and where you grew up. Actually, I'm Cynthia Morgan from Niger, Edo State, Benin. So they actually, I pretty much grew up like in, in Benin. Okay. Yeah, I think more. In Benin. I moved to Lagos when I was about 16 okay. to pursue my career. And, you know, when I was 17, I started dropping records. And, you know, but I started recording like professionally when I was 16. Okay. But it was just like a demo album. Like, you know, I wanted to put myself to my mom. Like, you know what? I can actually do this. You know, what harm? Okay. So, <laughs> okay. so yeah. But seventeen, I professionally started dropping, you know, singles and stuff. And you know, we keeping it real for five years now. I think. Okay, that's awesome. That's awesome. So let's talk about like your childhood and growing up. Do you have any brothers and sisters, or you know, only child? I'm actually an only child. Oh. Yeah. Mm. How was that? What was that like? It was great because like you know, I had a very strong and wonderful mom, and I had a very old self. I like my grandparents are old self. So like you know, it wasn't like I didn't have a dad in my life because actually I didn't have a dad in my life. So like it was. Awesome. It was, I think it's one of the best things that's ever happened to me. You know, it's, it's pretty difficult to be like, you know, growing up with a single parent and stuff. But mine was really, was really great. Okay. So, and it actually transformed to this very lady you're seeing here and it made me a better person and stuff. Mom yeah. did a good job. The love that you show and the things that you do, they make me laugh. So your mom was really supportive of your music aspirations? I started doing music when I was very young, from the children choir down to the island big choir to the youth choir. And my mom is a big gospel artist from a dope step in Italy. So like, you know, when I actually said I wanted to do my music, my mom was like, okay. I don't wait these like to, you know, to love music and stuff. Yeah. So like, you know, go do your thing and stuff. She was very supportive. Like, you know, my uncles, my big uncles was like, you know what? She's going to school. <laughs> Who does music? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, medicine. Actually. Oh, really? Yeah, medicine. <laughs> okay. Go to school. Who does music? Why you? Why I can't stop and go back to school? Because then I was gonna do my SATs. Because I was like, you know, I don't want to school here. Okay. And you know, it was it was great because you know my uncles were they were never in support of it because like you know like you know what people what do you think people are gonna say about her you know because then at first I was doing modeling. I was like, ooh, who does modeling? Like seriously, <laughs> that music. So like, it was it was pretty awesome because right now, like, my mom was very supportive. Like you know, right from that very early stage okay. until now, she's like, you know what? Go get it, go get it, baby. Awesome, go mom. Yeah. We like mom. <laughs> so what kinds of music did you listen to growing up? What was playing in your house? Um, actually, I listen to all kinds of music, and that's actually what transforms the kind of artist I am like right now because like you know, pretty much I did listen to my cool stuff. Okay. Let's like, so all we know, cool feel the day. Mm -hmm. I listen to Bob Marley. So I listen to you be 40. So like, you know, I had, you know, like pretty much when you're growing up, things that you do listen to or things that you do see get stuck. And you know, so like now there's no kind of sound that I actually cannot do because of those things that actually I like, grew up listening to all Jerry music, you know, okay. so it's really, really great. And still to now, people be like, I listen to rap, I listen to B.I.G., Tupac and stuff. Growing up was really, really, really fun. Nice, I love that. <laughs> so you said you started doing music when you were 16. 16. You love that you show and the things that you do that make me laugh. So how did you actually get discovered? Like, did you just walk into a studio one day and say, hey, find me, or like, how, how did all that come about? I had a bunch of friends who was pretty much that everybody was into music and we were like, I was the only girl, like, you know, I worked with a bunch of guys, we were like 10 guys, I'd be the only girl. And you wouldn't even know if I was a girl because I sang and do everything, <laughs> pretty much do everything that I do. And um, actually, the, I love, I just love music. I was my mom's backup singer when I was about 14, 15. Okay. So like, you know, I knew music was it. I, you know, I started writing when I was about Jesus One, I do turn. Um, secular music into gospel music because I was like, you know, I was in the SU choir, Scripture Union choir. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, like, I do turn the songs and I'll go to um, go to school. Like, you know, we do, I think on Thursdays, we do our SU meetings and stuff. Okay. Then I get to sing and stuff. So, like, 
I knew music was it. And okay. so, like, professionally, I just understood it. I told my mom, I told my friends, it's like, my friends was like, no, um, we want to call with the likes of OJB, because OJB was pretty much big when I was 16. Like, then I told one of my friends, it's late tonight, I was like, you know what, I think you should start from somewhere. OJB is pretty much very expensive right now. You should do what you can do right now here. And, you know, RIP to Bowie. It was really, really great, because those, my, my friends right now was waiting for OJB. I don't even know they do music anymore. <laughs> So like you know, I started from somewhere, then I came to Lagos. I started recording. My first um, recording, freshman when I was seventeen, was with Sam Clef. That was with okay. Jerry Pipe. I featured Jerry Pipe. Then you know, a couple of stuff that's like, like I'm along camera. Then I went out of the country at some point. I got back and I got signed to my new labor. I got signed to another labor and stuff. So now Cynthia working. Cynthia yeah. working. Okay, so tell us about the singles that you currently have out right now. Don't Break My Heart is still getting really big. Actually, I'm amazed and surprised. Like, you know, my fans are so amazing. Because, you know, I dropped the singles since last year, and mm -hmm. I was like, you know, the video came out. Songs that actually pretty much came out at the same time. Kind of like, when you play in a club right now, people be like, just stand there. But when Don't Break My Heart comes up, everybody like, turn up the new song. <laughs> it's still really, really getting big and massive. Then just Lead Me On, that's just massive. I love that song. Yeah, yeah. that's probably my yeah. favorite one. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> yeah, Lead Me On is massive. Then there's this new one working in the airways. Just kill it, kill it, that's gonna take it. The video's not all yet. We're working on the video already, rehearsals and stuff, so I have to dance. <laughs> <laughs> So let's talk a little bit about your style. Obviously, you've got the red hair, you know, the jacket and everything. Tell me about your inspirations. Um, actually, growing up, I was a tomboy. I do love colors. I, love, I really, really do love nice things. But, you know, like, you know, sometimes as a creative person, be like, okay, I just want to be like this. just want to be like this at some point. But, you know, I, I've got a creative team who do work with what I wear and stuff. But, you know, pretty much I love colors a lot. And I try to be very, a bit, you know, classy, a bit, you know, this. You know, my music is not really, my music is, you know, gang style and stuff. <laughs> so, no matter how classy I try to look, but, you know, it's still got to sit the whole bit of, you know, Cynthia Morgan, the whole five minutes. So yeah. I'll be like, oh, she's looking too sexy today. Mm. You know what? Yeah. It always has a little edge of yeah, like, tomboy in that. Yeah, edgy and yeah. stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, I love it. I love it. Thank you. How long are you gonna keep the red hair for? Maybe for a year. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Because yeah. so. he was sporting blonde before yeah. the red hair. So what color is he gonna be next? Purple uh, or something? No. I'm kidding. <laughs> well, something popping. As an artist, like, you know, the old brand stuff and stuff, it just has to be popping every time. You know, you can't look casual. Because I really, someone that really loves to look casual. But my man should be like, you know, like me, you're an artist, you're a star, you're a celebrity. So that very point, you have to be edgy. That's what people look and be like, you know what, I want to be like her. I want yeah. to do this, I want to do that. So like, you know. Baby, don't break my heart. So. Yeah. Break my heart. So. So I heard a little rumor, <clears throat> a little birdie told me that uh, you and Sean Tizzle were rumored to be dating. Tizzle. Yeah. <laughs> that is great. Um, actually, it's, he's really good there. I don't know how it started, but it's all good. When I was the first time you heard that rumor that you I were saw it on the internet. Tizzle. Okay. I saw it on the internet. Sean yeah. Tizzle dating. Um, Morgan. It was really when I went on the um, went on the internet. I saw sometimes I do search myself. Yeah. I try to see the old in swords, the good ones, the bad mm -hmm. ones, and stuff, you know. So I saw it. And I was like, okay, what's this coming from? I went on, I, I went on a couple of interviews. They asked me the same questions. Like, you know what? I show we're really, really good friends. <laughs> we're really, really, really good. But isn't that how it starts? Isn't that where love comes from? Friendships? Yeah. Actually, yeah. that's true. I really do like Sharon. And um, I don't know what to say because what am I going to say right now? I'm going to suffocate myself. Because I remember the last interview I had, I was like, you know, I'm sure, you know, like, oh. Could, could you see it happening? Could it could it happen? Could you date Sean? I can't say. I'm sure we're very, 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 very good friends. I already chatted with him this morning. So, I don't know. <laughs> so, I think she could see it happening. I think, I think maybe one of these days. It would be confirmed uh, yeah. that Cynthia and Why Sean are an item. Uh, I don't know. I don't know about that, but we're really, really good friends. And Sean is a very nice person. It's scary and stuff. And okay. Like, it's like that. It's like that. It's like, he, he bought me. He was like, um, I heard um, something. They were thinking, so why can't you just make it come through? Like, for real? I was like, you see? You see? <laughs> it's from friendship, you see? Yeah. I said, ain't you proud of me? Like, I'm proud of you. So, like, no, like, we're good, we're good. <laughs> really? Just chill. Ho ho. be with you from the start to the end. What's coming up next for Cynthia Morgan? Oh, lot. 
videos, I'm dropping a video for my new single, which is a take and it's just really awesome right now. Then, um, collaborations because I've really not dropped collaborations, everything is myself, like you know, been me, 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 me. Everybody's like, okay, we know you're bad, just <laughs> yes, I'm working in collaborations, it's got pretty loads of collaborations already, but you know, like timing and stuff. So, and I'm working on my own, I think album will be at maybe like next year. So one of the speaking that I will be for the album to drop. So like you're working, working, working with the market everywhere you know. Okay. Oh, everywhere you know. <laughs> everywhere you are. Everywhere like you are. <laughs> you're branding your own. She just made up her own phrase. <laughs> it's been great having you on the show. Thank you so much for stopping by. All right, guys, that's all the time we have on the show today. I hate to see you go, but I'll be back next week. Don't worry about it. Before we leave, I'd like to say a very special thank you to Terra Culture for allowing us to use their beautiful gallery today. Also, I'd like to say thank you to Fred from Cuddy Cosmetics for beating my face. And thank you to 1407 Style for my lovely dress today. All right, guys, that's all the time we have. I'll see you guys later. Bye.